Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Jasneet Kaur. If you have recently started watching my videos, then don't forget to like them and subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about chapter 6th of class 11th, which is media and communication technology. This video would be part 1. For rest of the videos, do check out the description box below. Before starting this chapter, let's take a look that by the completion of this chapter, what all you will understand. You will understand the concept of communication, significance of communication, different types and process of communication, then classification and functions of media and at last communication technology. Talking about communication, it is very basic and important for human survival. It has always been an integral part of our lives, whether personal, social or professional. The mode of communication and media has emerged with passage of time. The changing means of communication, media and technology has left deep impact on adolescents. Let's understand about communication and communication technology. Communication is not only important for the survival of an individual, as I have just said, it is also important for the meaningful growth of an organization, as it helps in sharing ideas, information, views, facts, feelings, etc. Among the people, to reach a common understanding. While discussing about the term communication, let's understand after all what exactly communication is. It is the act of transferring information from one place, person or group to another. It may also be described as the process of thinking, observing, understanding, sharing and expressing feelings to others through different ways. Along with this, it also refers to seeing, listening and exchanging ideas, thoughts, experiences, facts, knowledge, etc. with self or with others. The process of communication is continuous and is a part of all areas of social life including home, school, community and beyond. Moving ahead, communication can be classified on the basis of levels, types and modes. It can be classified on the basis of types of interaction which is further divided into one-way communication and two-way communication. Next, it is classified on the basis of levels of communication in which we divide it into intrapersonal communication, interpersonal communication, group communication, mass communication, intra-organizational communication and inter-organizational communication. The next, it is classified on the basis of means or modes of communication, in which it is divided on the basis of verbal and non-verbal communication. The last one in this is classification on the basis of involvement of number of human senses. To know more of these classifications in detail, Stick around and do watch the second part of this chapter. I will explain each of these classifications with relevant examples in detail. You can find out the link in the description box below. I will see you soon. Till then, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. You can share your feedback about this video in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.